and now we are continuing where we left off. It took us like bloody half an hour of those cutscenes. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to show you some, a couple of Easter eggs before we go. You see that picture up there? Yes. That's from one of the um, Japanese animes. Yeah, which one? I can't remember. I think it was Gunnick's Sword, I think. I don't know. And also, this poster here, Police Knots. If you have a camera on you and take a picture, then go to the safe data, you'll see a picture of Hideo Kojima pulling off a scary face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there's a PS1. And a PS1 controller. Yep. Very, very blocky, but it and still also, stands. Also, the GameCube version, over on those stands, you'll see Yoshi and Mario. And if you shoot Yoshi, it'll yell Yoshi. But if you shoot Mario, it'll come up with this one-up icon and it restores Snake's health. Oh, okay. Trust me, that is useful on extreme mode. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use Mario to restore my health. Because <laughs> I had no rations. Yeah. Because you don't get rations on extreme mode. You just couldn't walk around, could you? You had to break the glass. <laughs> yeah, I'm too lazy. Right, now we're going to go off to the first floor to see if we can find Meryl. Now I've got the level 4 card. <laughs> you looked like you were doing a running in place. Oh god, it's funny. <laughs> it's not so funny when it's close to the camera, but when you're like, you know, you know mm -hmm. what I mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here! C4 and grenades. Nicotas. And inside here, Lock vision vision goggles. <laughs> I got in the car on my back. Oh, shit. Get out of here! <coughs> You're gonna run out of air! i got to pick up the gas mask. That's a ration, not a gas mask. I know, but I went in the other rooms just to check and see what they were in. Is that the gas mask? No, it's a stun grenade. It's in the next room. Okay, how many friggin' rooms are in here? Loads. There, gas mask. There you go. Yeah, the gas mask comes in handy later on, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What that means is that when you put the gas mask on, your O2 gauge won't go nearly as down as fast. It'll yeah. go a lot slower. That's good. And also, night vision goggles allows you to see in the dark. Which is going to be handy for another section of the game, if I remember rightly. Yep, yeah, especially when you get to the communication tower. Yes. When you got to go up against those guards and got to run up those fucking long ass stairs. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. That was so evil. much running. <laughs> Actually, I found an easier way to get through that. If you use stun grenades while running up and throwing them, it's easier. And Meryl will be down here, won't she? Yeah, she's over there. Oh, shit! You're not supposed to do that. She's not shooting you, so it's obvious it's her. Right, come out, move. So she runs out. No. Oh, shit. Just kill them. <laughs> Neither of them are Meryl. There's Meryl. <laughs> Hide in the bathroom, they won't notice. Clean up against the toilet, they'll never see us here. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shot there of Snake. That's quite funny actually. Oh, there's this. Oh, crap. This is Skip with um, a guy in the. Oh. Were you meant to get caught? No. I was trying to get caught by someone else, but yeah. Yeah, I know you were getting, trying to get caught by Meryl, but... Ended up wrong. Let's go here. Now hopefully no one will come in. Okay. I've only got one ration left now. There you go. Just got to look out for a bum. 
Yeah, also... Look out for that wiggle. Also, another thing. As soon as you run into the bathroom, if you... How does she get unchanged that quick? Yeah, listen, though. If you get in there quickly, before 10 seconds, you will see her bottomless. That's the second if you do it within 10 seconds. Without her trousers on. Without her trousers on. Like see? there. Yeah, if you do it within 10 seconds. You're Meryl. There's no way you can pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men are not I can kind of understand it, actually, when you've taken... So I'm sorry. No um, I can kind of take it... I can kind of understand it in this case, though, because she's wearing those trousers there. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah, you've got a great butt. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. <laughs> <laughs> On the battle, you never think about what's next. Now she's got her pants back so on. Snake, yep. How are All negotiations going? No progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one key. I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. <laughs> Got it. Then you can pick up some more bullets, can't you? Yeah. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father. He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today. But now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself. Afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've Stop used being a gun sexist. <laughs> I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If 
If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level five. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Who knows? It could be personal. Or private. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. Can't wait how their lips don't move. It's just like they're going... Well, it's a graphic, you know. Yeah. They, had, they had limitations. Yeah, do that in real life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's no guard. Mm -hmm. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That's actually kind of breaking the 4-4. What happens to the music? Carvel box. Legendary. Things are, things are starting to get quite creepy now, with the lack of music. Legend. Yeah. Gotta love... You know, you gotta love the box. It's actually very helpful in certain places. Yeah. Do you know why? Though it has a pan, which we're gonna need later on. And that helps you aim when you're using the sniper rifle. So instead of shaking around, it'll actually hold it in a certain position for about 40 seconds or so. Yeah. Which will help you aim better. Gonna need the car to get out. <laughs> yeah, in MGS2 they kind of improved that, because in MGS2, all you'd have to do was just walk through the door. You didn't have to equip the cards just to go through the door. The fact that you had the card was enough. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Although the MSX games are annoying, because you had to scroll, scroll through every single level 1 card, See? level 2 cards, what just open the doing? door. Let's go to the commander's room. I need a pee. I'm gonna do something, <laughs> I'm gonna do something quite funny first. And this is what she does to him. And she can even slap you to death. Oh, wow! What are you doing? She's pissed. And if you stare at her boobs, guess what she does? Say what she does. What? What is it? What are you staring at? And if you do it for a bit longer, she'll get more pissed. Come on, Snake. At first she sounds flattered. And then she gets pissed. And if you look at her carefully, she'll Don't change stare colour. At me like that. The more, more you stare at her, the more she changes colour. Why? <laughs> because she gets embarrassed. Doing? We've got to get a move on. She's got quite strong big muscles, isn't she? She sure has. What? What is it? I'm waiting for her to start hitting you. <laughs> what are you staring at? It takes forever, so I'm not going to do it. It does take forever. What happens is that if you stare at her for a long time, she'll just start changing colour and she'll start going all pink. Oh, embarrassed, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the music. It's back to us. My head. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Take some painkillers. Are you with that help? <sighs> what happened? I'm fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Uh-oh. And she's walking a bit differently. It's a bit awkward, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Don't you mean Snake? I'm not Mr. Foxhound. I am Mr. Snake. I am Salt Snake. <coughs> and don't you forget. So now we're in this room and... Well, what are we going to do now? Well, does he instantly appear or...? He got away for this to happen. Oh. Actually, what's interesting is that I read what the Japanese version was like. When she does this, when she keeps on saying, hold me, make love to me, in the Japanese version, she said the first bit, and then she didn't say anything afterwards. So there's actually less dialogue in the Japanese one. Also, Mantis didn't say that in the Japanese one. 
Shut up, Colonel! <laughs> know what to do. I'm gonna beat the shit out of your niece. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dare you beat the shit out of my niece. I can always shoot her. No! <laughs> <laughs> I can just shoot in the leg. Oh. Unfortunately, I haven't got Castlevania on my memory card, so it'd be quite difficult to see what he says. We'll see. But also, he can tell you, he reads your memory card. When he says he reads your mind, he reads your memory card. He tells you how well you're doing the game. Let's see. If you do really bad, he'd be like, you are somewhat reckless. Let's see. Let's see what he says about me. That's right. This is not trick. It's true power. Huh. It's useless, I told you. I can read your every thought. Now, let me read your mind. No, perhaps I should say your past. You are a very methodical man. The type that always kicks his tires before he leaves. You are a highly skilled warrior. Well suited to this stealth mission. You are extremely careful of traps. You are either very cautious or you are a coward. Still don't believe me. Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. Hmm. Your memory is completely clean. have not said often. You are somewhat reckless. I think the GameCube was that like. I can see you enjoy Nintendo games. <laughs> <laughs> I will show you my psychokinetic He's gonna move my controller, watch. Put your controller on the floor. He actually does move the controller. It, it makes it vibrate. Well no, he actually moves it. Now I will move your controller by the power of my will alone. What do you think now? You didn't do anything. <laughs> I think it's because my controller's old, that's why. Okay. <laughs> when he does that, that is so cool. Right. Okay, now we get to fight. Mantis, and I've got to change control ports. Basically, Mantis, he can read your every move if your control, if your controller is in your, the very first port. Put it in the second port, he will not be able to read what you're doing. And you can beat him easily like this. Much easily. What are you doing there? I'm in the first person view mode. Because, because when he does that, you'll see where he's going. And saves you the trouble of having to use thermal goggles. Yes, because using the thermal goggles is so much trouble. <laughs> I must admit, though, I do think that Psychomancer's powers are really, really awesome. You know, especially if you can reach a memory card. No, just, just being able to manipulate things. And control people's minds. Not so much control people's minds. Well, yeah, that is pretty awesome, but just being able to pick things up without even touching them and throwing them at you without even touching them. Things like that, that's awesome. But he's pretty darn easy, isn't he? Not when I first played it. Well, not when I first fought it. Well, no, obviously, <laughs> because you don't know to use the second controller port then. But the more you play it, the more easy it becomes. So Meryl's now in the equation. Just knock her out, and... And she falls down again. Oh, oh indeed. But I know your weak point. Meryl, stand right where he can see you and blow your brains out. Ah! Stop! Meryl! Does she actually do it? She actually does, if you hold on for two seconds. Actually, in the extreme difficulty, she immediately does it, so you've got to be, like, super fast. you got to do it within a blink of an eye. Yikes. 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 Yikes.
dread to think what a European extreme would do. <laughs> be impossible. It'd be done in a cutscene so you instantly fail. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. Die! All too easy. I have to say this now, because if I don't, I never, never will. What is it? Are you my mummy? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Who reference, if you okay. didn't get that. Nah, <laughs> never seen Doctor Who. You should. There's this one episode where there's this child in a gas mask. And he always says, Are you my mummy? And it's quite spooky. I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay. Yeah. She's right. She is right. So, uh, you used the other I, I wasn't able to read the future. The strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Exactly. Actually, with this game, if you know what to do, and you skip all the cutscenes, you could beat this game under three hours. Yeah, it's not a very long game when you take that into consideration. Yeah. Some people actually said to me that obviously the creator of this game or the franchise wants to make movies and stuff. Yeah. But then again, I would have liked to have seen a Metal Gear Solid movie, but <laughs> knowing, you know, the whole video game to movie thing in general, it probably would have turned out to be a pile of shit. Obviously. Like I said though, if this game has all these cutscenes, how are you going to make a, you know, a film out of it? Yeah. So the game you can make it longer, can't you? Yeah. While providing something for you to play with. Yeah. That was the idea of it, really. Mm -hmm. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. So now he's telling us where we gotta go in, in order to get to the communication towers. Yep, and you have to go north. Past the bookcase. On thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind. His face looks no different from all the others. <laughs> In this game, anyway. <laughs> and that's why it's gross. Makes perfect sense. To pass on one seed was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you. You are no different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live and in no the difference. Moments. And no present. <laughs> and no nothing. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment and sadness. Oh yeah, and anger. World. Loads and loads of humans piss me off, I'll tell you. Mm. Nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth. And he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> Oh god, that laugh is creepy. <laughs> Definitely the same. You and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I 
never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. Hey guys, too late. <laughs> you, Snake. You're just like the boss. Now you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. How? I read her mind as well. Meryl's? I saw you there. She fancy you she. A large, place in <laughs> a large place? She has a crush on you. Yes. I like how Snake's like, a, a large, large place. place. He doesn't know. <laughs> A large place? Really? I've only just met this girl. <laughs> well, actually, no, he's like, a large place? What are you talking about? What is it? She's a lover, you stupid. <laughs> oh, okay. Snack. Okay. <laughs> it's a shame that um, Snake and Meryl never got to kiss one another. Nah. And I kind of like, you know, leaving things open-ended. I want to be left alone in my own world. <laughs> If you want to find your future, go through that door. So, yeah, <coughs> we kind of have to go through the door then. Yes, obviously. <laughs> and that would lead us to the communication towers where things are going to get a little bit more interesting. Yeah, very interesting. It feels kind of... And he's dead. Darth Vader reference. Is it just me, or is that camera shot? Every single time I see that camera shot, let's go, Meryl. Meryl's pants make it look like it's a fat man or a fat egg. Meryl, for some reason, as a kid, mm. I used to think that. If it, if you look at it carefully, it looks like a fat stomach. Yeah. But it actually turns out to be just her leg. I'll leave you here. Ooh. Ooh. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name. A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Oh, poor snake. Yep. <laughs> Meryl's health increases as well, I like that. But is there any way to heal her? <coughs> nope. There's no way to heal her. But then again, she'll be gone soon. The times of dying men enforce attention. Like deep harmony. Snake, people don't normally lie with their dying breath. I think he was telling the truth. Maybe you should believe him. Well, it's not like we have much of a choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to save over extreme mode. Yeah, sure. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's alright. Don't give up. Right. And that's the end of this part. So yeah, we'll see you guys next time when we will move on to the communication towers. Yep, so until then... And then we'll be backtracking ahead. Yep. <laughs> so we'll see you later, guys. Sayonara. Sayonara.